hi guys i'm back with another video in this video we're going to see how i implemented git from scratch using c this is one of the most simplest projects that you can do which will truly help you to understand how git works how git stores our commits how it's unique other than all the uh, uh, all the files that has been stored in git and how it really works so let's get into the github page so yeah this is the github repo of gigit i know the spelling is wrong but trust me it's gigit so this is a git implementation in c that mimics git's internal object storage system so it basically describes how git stores your commits your files and how it organizes it in the form of trees and everything so yeah these are the features that has been implemented in gigit so the first thing is we are going to initialize a directory so git is uh, going to have git a dot git is a hidden directory if you want to uh, look at uh, what's inside dot git you just have to ls uh, come on uh, slash la if you did that you can see uh, the folders inside git on your current repo so that's in it so guys when you implement this git uh, don't name it as dot git because that will override your inbuilt git that is currently on your repo so that's why i named it dot ge git and then hash object so each of the so git is going to have these four things that it will be stored in the form of its folders firstly it's going to have uh, objects so these objects are of four types the first thing is tree and blobs and commits and tags so in here i implemented three things which are blobs trees and commits so tags, I haven't implemented that, but you can sure implement it. So hash object, it's going to show uh, store blobs of objects. We can see it in the code demo. And write tree is a file. It's going to contain the uh, information about the files that you have included in your current directory. We can see that in the code. So and commit, so it's contain, it contains commit messages and yeah, it stores everything in the form of objects. So this is a blob, tree, commit, and guys, how blobs, trees, and commits are, get, uh, get stored without getting duplicates is based on hashing. So it's gonna use SHA hash for creating unique hashes for each of your files so the, uh, that's it about the features so this is the file structure we are going to have the dot gigit file and the include section and source for the c code and this is how you can use it you can i use make file so just uh, type make and dot slash gigit for uh, gigit in it for initializing the directory and the hash file hash object for hashing a particular file and write tree for uh, for creating objects for each of the files in your current current directory and commit for creating the commit messages and that's the readme for you guys let's get inside the code so these are the include files i think it'd be best if i go to my vs oh yeah guys this is the vs code thing so firstly let me just uh tell you guys about the init how we are initializing the directory so in the uh in it we are going to create a directory called dot gigit with the following folders which are objects reps and heads so in inside head we that's gonna contain the branch that you're currently working on we can see it um if we run this code and then uh, the branch thing and initialize the mini git so i'm just gonna run run it for you guys so dot slash gigit and in it so see here look at it guys this is the dot gigit folder so inside this object folder we are going to have all the uh, blobs commits and tree three right tree 
things and uh, inside graph we are going to have head and in the head file we are going to have the particular branch which is master so that's about in it and let's move on to the hash object so inside the hash object i'm gonna get all the file contents for the particular file that we are going to hash and i'm going to write that uh, object into a form of a blob so this write object function it is in the utils so uh look look here so this is the write object so it's gonna write uh, the object based on the hash value so the first you you're going to have a hash uh, hash name for the particular file the first two letters of the hash is going to be the directory name and the remaining uh, letters on the hash is going to have the file name so uh, when I run this, you can get to know about it. And uh, SHA hash, it's a function for creating the hash value for the particular file. And save blob, I'm going to save the blob in the form of uh, a particular directory file name, such as two. Uh, name for this dir2 is for the directory name, and file 38 is for the file name of the blob that we have created just now. So that's the right object function. So let's run the hash object. So dot slash g get hash object. I think it's, I spelled it correct. So let's see, yeah, I spelled it correct. So look at it guys, files wrote successfully in the git object. Uh, thing so see see here look at the hash the first thing is fc so that's going to be the directory name and 478e8 that's going to be the file name so let's move on to the object and let's open it and see blob 35 hash this is a test file in the home so this is how the blob is going to be written on the objects folder so this is just an implementation of one file. If we wrote, if we implement the write tree function, it's gonna write all the files inside the home directory. So that's gonna be dget hello.txt, txt, main.c, make file, and all the other things. That's gonna be written on the .dget if we implement the write tree function. So yeah, so this is the main file. I will get to the main file last. So let's move on to the tree function. So in the right tree, I'm going to read the directory, which is the current uh, entry directory name, the dot, the current directory. And it's going to read the file contents in the current directory. So for that, I'm using the read there. So firstly, it's going to read one file. If the file, uh, if the file exists, it's just gonna create the object blob for that particular file, and then it's gonna move on to another file until there is no other file in the home directory. That's why it's not equal to nil, and it's gonna create a blob object uh, for each of the files for creating the hash uh, hash file content inside the objects. And then finally, we are going to create a, a tree file containing what are all the files that we have included in the objects. So yeah, guys, this is the write tree function. Um, let me just uh, write it, uh, implement that, guys. G git and write tree. So I think, yeah. It's implemented all the files that we have uh, included in the current directory. So let's see what the first file is about. So this file is .gigit, which is the executable file of C. And then let's open it, this one. So this is the make file that is located on the home. And this one is let me just see. This is the tree file, guys. So this is going to contain all the files that has been created, uh, all the files which has the blob objects. So there are three different things in this objects folders. The first thing is blob, the second thing is uh, tree, and the third thing is commit messages. So inside the tree, we can see um, uh, what are all the files that 
has been located inside the home. Uh, make file, gigit, readme, main, logo, hello.txt, uh, and the particular, uh, app, uh, particular hash uh, name of the file, which is included in hash without the first two letters. So 10644, these, uh, it's just a basic uh, file permissions thing, file permission mode. So that's the tree file. And let's move on. Text editor, so this is gonna be a readme file. And this is, uh, I think that's, uh, it's the image file, the logo image file. And this is the main, and this is the, hello.txt we created it first. So that's how write tree works. It's gonna uh, create a file called tree, which is going to contain all the information about the blobs of the files located in the directory. So blobs are files located in the directory and tree is a separate file which contain information about all the blobs located on the directory. So that's it guys, that's tree. So next we will implement let me just clear everything so next we are going to implement the commit message so yeah before that i just want to show you guys the commit message code so this is the code for the commit message so the commit message is going to have the author the time and the message that we are going to commit so that's that's what i wrote it here inside the commit message and it's going to create an object called commit so I told you guys there are three different things, blobs, trees, commit. Commit is one of those objects. So let me just uh, write the message, add files. So yeah, it wrote it. Let me just see, this is the tree, this is that. I think this one is the commit, yeah. See guys, look at it. This is the commit message that is going to be located on the objects folder. So it's gonna have the tree, uh, the name of the tree, which is uh, containing all the information about the files, the authors, and the commit message. That's what commit does. So I think, yeah, commit message is done. Yeah, now let's see the main file. It's super simple. Uh, I'm using orgv for getting the um, messages that I'm typing on the terminal, and I'm just comparing with hash object, write tree, and commit message and everything so that's how uh, this object storage function in git works other than that the, the indexing and direct uh, acyclic graph uh, director acyclic graph for uh, implementing indexes and constructing trees based on the indexes that has been created that's uh, that you can guys uh, you guys can implement and there is compression before uh, storing the files using zlib or something. So yeah, guys, that's the code structure of Gigit. And there's more to Git. I just want to understand how Git works, how it stores objects, how it's uh, retrieving objects and everything. So that's what I implemented in this uh, Gigit project. So you guys can fork this and um, implement some other features to it uh, based on your own understanding. So yeah guys, that's a quick uh, overview about how I implemented Gigit from scratch using C. So it's a super quick and easy project that you can do. And there's no need for watching hours long tutorial. I, when I searched about it, there was some 51 videos and each video was like one hour long. So that's gonna be super stressful. So just learn how Git works and try to implement that. It's, it's very simple and you can do it on your own. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Like it, share, and subscribe, and see you guys again with the next awesome video. Bye-bye.